Okay, so this sh should be my last one, except I might make one where I make Matt talk, because I know how much everyone loves that. Um, this is the ooey gooey Matt questions. Um, Alright, it says, introduce us to your significant other, not that I can actually say the word, but there it is. Uh, but he's not here, he's at work, unfortunately, otherwise I would introduce him, because he's cute. Um... Do you think Matt will be the person you marry? Yes, I do think Matt will be the person I marry. I actually have no doubt about it. I'm just waiting for him to propose because I'm tired of being your girlfriend. Uh, how do you know Matt's the one? I guess it's very similar to the how do I how did I know America's um, my soul pony? It's just that thing, like that that inner feeling in the very base of your gut. It's like this guy is special. Um, He's, we've been through a lot in the uh, year and a half we've been together, and he's probably been the most positive and influential person in my life somehow. Um, he's a great guy, and he, before we got together, I don't think he realized how much of an amazing person that he really was. He hasn't been treated very well in the past in other relationships. Um, he's amazing. He's very understanding. He's very loving. Like, he's probably the most loving guy I've ever been with. He's compassionate and passionate and, I mean, he's smart. And the dude can do anything. It's, it, I have yet to find anything that he can't do. I mean, from, like, sewing to building cars from the ground up. Uh, he does it all. And he knows how to ride. He can even ride bulls. Yeah. <laughs> He's weird. He does everything. Um, how did Matt and I meet? Um, Matt and I met through a friend named Dave. Um, Dave is a sketchy human being. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the way we met, actually... It's not the best. <laughs> uh, I was out at the bar with Dave and Matt and um, a couple other friends. And I went back over to Dave's house with all them and we were drinking and everything. And I needed to go home and I was too drunk. And Matt, who no one else knew was drunk, said that he would drive me home. So he drove me home, and we did not do anything, by the way. He drove me home and dropped me off, and then he got lost. This was when I lived at the children's home. He got lost on his way out, and he ended up getting pulled over and ended up getting a DUI. None of us knew he was even drunk. He obviously was very good at faking it, but he was a professional drinker at the time. Now he doesn't drink anything, and he has a driver's license back. Um... But what's weird is we found out that we had been hanging out in the same circles all of our lives. Ever since I moved up here, well, a couple of years after I moved up here, um, I started hanging out with all the same people that he was hanging out with, but he <laughs> he was kind of an emo kid, and he wore guy liner and all that stuff. <laughs> so I probably didn't give him the time of day at the time. I was a snob. I lived it. Um... I got three questions of how did I meet Matt, so <laughs> I hope that answered them. Uh, what's my favorite part of my relationship with Matt? Um, there's this thing he does where um, we'll be sitting next to each other and I'll just lay my head on his shoulder and he kisses me on the forehead. And for some reason that's the most loving for, for me, it's the most loving gesture that someone can do. And, um, I don't know. I love it when he does that. It makes me feel all warm and tingly. Um. Yeah, I think that would be one of my favorite parts. I just love how he loves me. He accepts me knowing that I have issues and he's very understanding of them and he doesn't use them against me um, but he's honest like if I'm doing something stupid and he knows I'm overreacting about something 
he has this way of knowing exactly how to say it so that it's at one time sensitive while also being brutally honest. Um, and I loved that, I love that tactfulness about him. Um, yeah, he's pretty awesome. And yes, we will be married one day. Apparently he knows, he has it all planned out on how he's going to, um, sorry about the boobs, uh, how he's going to propose and everything. So, he's obviously thinking about it. <laughs> Hopefully one day. Um, I think that's it. Oh my goodness, am I really done? Yay! Oh, I have a present for you guys. Come here. Icy bee! No, don't smack me in the face. I just would like you to see how large he is. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, he has pink nipples. Pink nipples. He hates it when I do that. You see that face? Oh, nipples. <laughs> yeah, this is what I do to my cats. Okay. Bye. <laughs>